Editing policy rules is one of the most common operations performed by network administrators. Whether you're on a cleanup task, rushing to block a risky port, or adding urgently requested access, you always start the process by finding the rules you need to edit. This can be a tedious and error-prone activity. It's not always easy to know which network enforcement points these rules reside on, and even if the location of the rule is known, you need to ensure that you'll find all the rules that require your attention. With Tufin, you can select rules for modification based on rule viewer search results. Leveraging Tufin's flexible query language, you can be certain that you retrieved all the rules that match your criteria. You can then modify the selected rules using an automated or semi-automated fully audited change process using the rule modification workflow. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly find and select policy rules across different vendors enforcement points that require modification, perform modifications to the source, destination, or service fields, and finally, design and provision the changes to the relevant enforcement points across your hybrid environment, all while eliminating errors and reducing policy clutter. Let's see how this is done. We start the process by using Tufin's Rule Viewer to search for the relevant rules across all vendors enforcement points. In this example, we'll run a query to search for all the rules that contain a specific hostname in the source field. Mark the rules we want to modify. It's as simple as that. Now, from the menu, let's select Modify Rule. In the dialog box, we type the ticket subject and select the Rule Modification Workflow. Now, we'll click Open to create a new ticket. You can view the original rule details in the draft ticket. You can add a new object or add an existing object to the rule, source, destination, or service fields, or remove an existing object from any one of these fields. Okay, let's start by removing and adding existing objects in the source field. In the source field, click Select an existing object, and a list of existing rule objects appear. Let's remove the unneeded objects to the rule by clicking Clear. To find additional available objects, we can easily search by type and by name. Now, let's add the relevant objects to the rule by clicking Add, and the updates appear in the source field. Next, let's add a new object to the destination field. In the destination field menu, click Create a new object. Select the object type, and enter the object IP and name. To confirm, click OK. Now, let's remove an existing object from the service field. In the Service Field menu, click Select an Existing Object. The list of existing objects in the rule appears. Let's remove the unneeded objects by clicking Clear. The updates will now appear in the Service Field. We can now submit the ticket. After the ticket is submitted, we can use the Tufin Designer to design and implement the change. Let's go ahead and review the designer results. Click View Rule to review rule change recommendations. Here, we can see that two objects will be added to the rule and two objects will be removed from that rule. Click Update Policy to update relevant enforcement points and that's it. We're done. To summarize, making changes to rules doesn't need to be a burden on your team. Tufin's Rule Modification Workflow helps you save time and effort when modifying existing rules and automatically provisioning the changes. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit tufin.com and check out our other videos.